What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Ken Burtz. I am at Spitzer Chevrolet of Amherst, Ohio to show you this 2020 Trax LT. This thing is really nice. I do have a video that describes the differences between the LS, the LT, Premier, all in one big conglomerate thing. You can check that out in the top right hand corner. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner and turn on your bell notifications so you are notified when new videos come out. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those in the comments down below. You can see Spitzer's inventory there. Stick around, this is a great entry level SUV produced by Chevy. Again, we're looking at the 2020 Trax LT. This is the mid-level trim. This is the smallest compact SUV that Chevy has to offer. Has to offer. The next thing up is the Equinox or the coming Trailblazer. Will actually be a little bit smaller than the Equinox, but bigger than the Trax. Look for that coming here in a couple months from the release of this video. And uh, it's the same thing as a Buick Encore, just a little bit of diff styling difference with a Chevy bow tie on the front there. Uh, I want to talk about some of the uh, exterior things first. This is in Summit White. Uh, it is available in a lot of other colors. Uh, but the exterior size, the length, so from this nose all the way down to the tail, is 167.6 inches. So you make sure it fits in your garage. Uh, your overall height is 66.5 inches. That includes the roof rail. So if you're looking at an LS, it's about an inch and a half shorter. Your wheelbase, so from the center of the wheel to the center of the rear wheel, axle to axle is 100 point, 100 point 100.6 inches. And your overall width is 69.9 inches wide. Starting out on the front end of this, I'd like to point out, you get two of these key fobs. Now standard, you would have a basic key fob with a switchblade key. Uh, the LT, this particular one has a convenience package that is an upgrade. I'm gonna to try to point out some of those differences as we go so you know what's standard on the LT and what's an upgrade. I love the LT, it has so many package upgrade options. I'll talk about those at the end. But remote start is what I wanna point out here. That is a standard feature on the LT. Just hold that button down, the lock button uh, twice, and then hold that little circle arrow for about two or three seconds, and it'll remote start. Uh, but again, remote start being the big thing. Projector style halogen headlamps. Those are an upgrade from the LS, which just has reflector head, halogen headlamps. So this is a great upgrade. The other upgrade here too, you'll see is these LEDs. They may look a little flashing in the video. That's not actually how they work, but it's just the refresh rate of the recording. But you'll see those nice LED daytime running lamps are uh, standard on the LT as well. Uh, the other thing that is an upgrade too from the LS is this silver bar across the bottom. That's your skid plate. You have one in the front and one in the back but it's a great looking compact SUV. All right, let's go down this passenger side. This is great, I wanna point out a few things. So you get your body color mirror caps here. 
body color door handles. Now this chrome strip is not normally there. That is part of that convenience package upgrade. These mirrors are also heated on the LT. They're not on the LS, but they are on the LT. Again, with that key fob I showed you earlier, you get the keyless access. Not normally on the LT. It's only on their front door handles. You notice it's not on the rear. But with that, as long as you have the key fob near you, you can lock or unlock just by tapping that button there. If you don't have the key fob with you, it's not gonna unlock. Um, so, but again, those chrome strips and the keyless entry like that, that, or the passive entry as they would call it, uh, is all part of that convenience package upgrade. Uh, these luggage rack rails, these side rails on the roof, I think these are great. If you watch the video on the LS, I think the tracks looks really bad without them, honestly. So I really like going to the LT or the Premier where you get those, it's a great look. The other thing you get on the LT is these tinted rear windows. So if you are gonna go with the LS, get that uh, tint and cruise package so you get those tinted rear windows in the back. Let's take a look at your fuel tank. There is no release over on the driver's side. You just press on this left side here and it pops open. You have an actual cap, so there's no capless fueling. So you can put a lock on there if you wanted to. It's a 14 gallon tank. If you get the front wheel drive, it's 26 miles per gallon city, 31 highway, combined 28. Uh, if you go all wheel drive, you only lose two miles per gallon, so it's not really that bad. It's 24 city, 29 highway, 26 combined for all wheel drive. Take a look at these wheels. So you get 16 inch aluminum wheels. These are standard on the LS and the LT. Do you do have two other 18 inch wheel upgrade options? Uh, we'll cover those in the packages later. Uh, but just know that you get those 16 inch aluminum wheels standard, which is a great, great, great look. Uh, they did away with the hubcaps. Whether you get front wheel or all wheel, you're getting these wheels. Um, they are all anti-lock brakes. This is a front wheel drive. So you're gonna get disc brakes to the front and drum brakes to the rear. If you get all wheel drive, you get disc brakes uh, for front and rear. You do have a tire pressure monitor system that shows up in your driver information center on all four of these wheels. It is not on your spare tire though, please know that. Uh, you do get Stabila track, electronic stability control uh, as a standard feature on the LS, LT, and Premier. All right, as we look to the back, you've got your rear intermittent wiper there. LED tail lamps. Great look there. I think that's such an upgrade. Again, check out that LS video. These are way better looking. Backup camera under your Chevy bow tie here. Check it out right there. That's a standard feature. Uh, electronic hatch release. That's underneath of there. I do want to point out, again, that silver bar there. That's your rear skid place for you. This is a manual lift gate. There is no power lift gate option. Not even on the Premier. So if that goes up there, check out this back. The nice upgrade you get to... When you go to the LT, you get this cargo shade, which again, it has that little track in the back there. So if you need a little bit more clearance for your cargo, don't need that shade. You can take it out, slide it right in there. And then you can hook these on. If I can do it one handed, there we go. There's a hook on the other side too, but then it goes up, gives you a little extra security to the back. I was like to point out you have light to the back, which is really nice at night. You've got that cargo shade on there and you actually have some lights to where you can see. You do have a spare tire underneath here. I almost forgot to point that out. The jack and everything. Actually enough room you could kind of tuck some things down in there if you wanted to, a little added security. Uh, behind the second row, so without this shade on, back like when we first opened it up, there's 18.7 cubic feet. If you fold that second row down, those you notice those are 60-40 split. You can fold those down. You get 48.4 cubic feet of cargo space. I'm gonna actually show you how to do that here real quick. All right, so a couple tips here. If you're wanting to fold these seats down, these back seats, you do need these slid forward just a little bit. You'll still have some leg room up there, but in order to do this, there's actually a little tab you can just see it right there. So you're gonna do this as seats again, they fold just like the backrest, 60, 40 split. So you can still have a passenger back there and those will fold down like that. That 
gives you a better pivoting angle here, folding angle, for your seat. If your seat back or your front seats are back too far, this seat bottom won't go all the way forward and this won't go all the way down to give you the max cargo space. Now, one other thing I do want to point out, I'm going to fold this. Oops, one more. There we go. That front passenger seat folds flat. So now from the back, you can start to see how much cargo space you actually have. But from that dash all the way up there, I do you want to point out, look at that nice leatherette with the stitching. Isn't that nice? But all the way from that dash, all the way back here is eight feet. So you've got room for skis. You've got room for all kinds of stuff. If you're going to college, if you're moving, you've got all kinds of space. This is a great versatile crossover vehicle that really does fit the needs of so many people. Uh, don't be deceived by just looking at it on the lot. It has a lot of space to it. All right, typically I would show you this. It's gonna be a little bit hard to read on the window sticker just because we got a little bit of snow that came in here and it melted but you can catch that MSRP of 24645. This does have that convenience package. I'll read that off at the end what all is in there so you know, but you can check out the fuel economy, the safety ratings, all of that there. Let's take a look inside this back. What's nice on the LT, you get a standard 120 volt outlet and for your wall at home. And as part of the convenience package, you get a nice, nice seating upgrade so typically you just have this cloth that would be all the way around but with that convenience package it pulls up to make it cloth in the center same for the seat bag and then leather a leatherette i should say around the outsides and i guess one other tip i should say if you're folding those seats down make sure you have these headrests pushed all the way down too it looks a little bit weird but that's how you get the most space out of the back here uh, your headroom for your back passengers is 38.8 inches and your legroom is 35.7 inches. Let's check out this driver area. This is where most of you are going to be spending your time in this vehicle. You've got power locks, windows, side mirrors. Again, those are heated side mirrors. Don't forget that. On the LT, not on the LS. Uh, so if you, that's an important feature, make sure you get at least the LT. Typically, you would have a four-way manual adjusting driver's seat but this is part of that convenience package so you get the power forwards backwards up and down with this button the lumbar support is a standard feature already and then if you want to change your backrest that is still manual adjusting there but then you get another view of that leatherette that's part of the convenience package it's a good looking seat the headroom for your driver is 39.6 inches legroom 40.8 inches we move over to your steering wheel that is a manual tele telescopic and tilt steering wheel that's a standard feature uh, the you notice this one is leather wrapped and I really I love leather wrapped steering wheels and that is part of the convenience package as well your cruise control is a standard feature your Bluetooth hands-free your radio controls there your volume control that's all stand standard features and uh, Let's take a look at some of the inside stuff here. Oh, almost forgot down here. You have your instrument panel brightness control and your headlight control here. It runs off of that sensor right up there. So you can turn them on and off right there. So we'll hop inside here. One of those things is on the LT convenience package as well is that keyless start. So you just hold in the brake and press that button to start it. When you go to turn it off, you just tap that button there. There is no auto stop feature. A lot of you will really, really like that. Um, is We'll cover engine options or the engine and everything, all the features there in a few seconds. But I uh, wanted to point out, so you have this nice 3.5 inch monochromatic driver information center. If you notice that little box is around trip, it has a little divot there and then vehicle. So you can switch back and forth by tapping this menu button over here. And each one you can twist and show different things. So your fuel economy, fuel range, tripometer, your speed, you can switch over to vehicle, show your oil life, tire pressure, pull it back over here so you can see your speed digitally or on the dial here. 
your RPMs, your fuel range will actually have some lights that will show up. This one needs gas badly, so we're not going to see anything there, but those will, those will light up there uh, as you put more gas in it. Your windshield wipers here. And again, I just point out this leatherette with the nice stitching. It's a base crossover, small compact SUV, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, this is plastic up top here, but it's still, it's a good looking vehicle. All right, we're going to check out here the seven inch MyLink radio with infotainment system three. This is the standard, uh, it's the same radio, whether you get an LS and LT Premier, it's all going to be the same. It has AM, FM and XM radio that's available. Normally you just get AM and FM and Bluetooth, but the Sirius XM comes as part of the LT package. Um, let's go back over to home button here. You have a 4G Wi-Fi hotspot uh, that runs through AT&T right now. If you plug in through the USB ports down below here, you can do Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Those will light up there. It is not wireless at this time, though that is coming here. Uh, you've got your on-screen navigation buttons. This navigation is green one right here. That runs through OnStar, so you do have to have an OnStar subscription in order for that uh, to work that way. But if you use Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, come down here, traction control, hazards. You have all your uh, single zone climate control there, AC, uh, rear defroster there, USB auxiliary, 12 volt down there. I do like to point out here. So if you switch to manual mode here, you've got a plus and minus button on the side here. You can go through the gears manually there you have four cup holders and your emergency brake down the center here oh you know what? i'll switch to reverse for you so you can see the backup camera you can actually see your bumper across the bottom oops you can turn those guidelines on and off if you turn the steering wheel those guidelines actually turn with you to give you a projected path of where you're headed up top here on the mirror you'll see all your onstar controls there your dome light controls there and your vanity mirror here. All right, a couple other goodies here, and we'll check out the engine. One thing I want to point out is on the driver's side, it's the only one that gets an armrest. Now, you do have one in the back between this uh, two sides. You get it with two cup holders in the back. But in the front, the passenger doesn't get an armrest, just the driver. But the passenger does get a little underseat storage, little uh, cubby drawer, if you whatever you want to call it there. That is... Standard on the LT and the Premier, the LS does not get that. One other thing, you get 10 airbags to keep you and your family safe, including knee airbags for the front driver and passenger. It's really important because if you're in an accident and you slide forward in your seat, a lot of people bang their knees on the dash and that's where they get a lot of injuries. Uh, so GM has put knee airbags for the front to help protect you there. As we go up here to the engine, has a 1.4 liter turbo Ecotec engine, dual overhead cam. It's got four cylinder, variable valve timing. It is paired to the six speed automatic transmission. This is the only engine option in the tracks. It's got 138 horsepower at 4,900 RPMs, 148 pound foot of torque at 1,850 RPMs. And it does come with hill start assist as a standard feature. So there are a lot of optional packages. That's why I like the LT. I'm gonna put those as slides just for time's sake, because it takes a while to read through those. The LT convenience package, if you do wanna get that, again, we covered a lot of that today. That's $450 on the window sticker. The driver confidence package has is $495. That does require the LT convenience package as well. There is a midnight edition that's listed on a brochure. So you might be looking at that. I'll let you know, I looked around for about 500 miles around Cleveland. I couldn't find a single one for 2020. I know they had them in 19 and older, but I think that might be a typo if you're looking in a brochure. There is a red line edition. That is a great, I, I wish I could show you one. We get them on the lot and they're gone so fast. Uh, they're a great looking vehicle. Uh, so make sure you check out what's listed on that. I'll try to throw a couple of pictures up for you too. And the sun and sound package is very popular. They get you your sunroof and Bose seven speaker surround sound there, or nice sound system there. It is normally just a six speaker in the tracks. Pricing, if you go with a front wheel drive like this one, 
If you get no upgraded packages, the MSRP starts at $23,200 plus a 995 destination charge and any other state or dealer fees that you might have. Uh, All-wheel drive starts at $24,700 plus the destination and other state fees that you might have. That is before any rebates and discounts. Please keep that in mind uh, when you are looking on the lot. So you look at the sticker, say, oh, that's too much. There might be $6,000 in rebates and discounts. Make sure you talk to your dealership and salesperson. All right, so there you go. It's the 2020 Trax LT front wheel drive. This one does have the convenience package. It's in beautiful Summit White. If you live in Northeast Ohio, I would love to help you find your next vehicle. Whether it's a Chevy, I've got 13 dealerships in the group. I can find whatever you're looking for. I have over 700 used cars. Uh, so if you live in Northeast Ohio or around this area, I would love to help you. Give me a call at 440-988-4444. You can leave a comment down below or send me an email. That's all down below too. Spitzer's inventory is, a, I put a link down there for you too. Again, if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Hit, turn on your bell notifications, share this video comment down below if you have any questions you guys be safe have fun and have a great day